Hey guys, how you doing? This is GuanYu007, and <clears throat> I'm pretty sure everybody knows that the new CMU is up and running, but as it stands, I have not downloaded it, and I've not did a a um, a review of it or anything of that nature, or a tutorial basically switching over my CMU 1.10. Right now, I do not particularly like CMU 1.10. And I still have 1.9, which I will contest to being the better CMU until something else happens. But then again, at the time of testing, I didn't have the Fall Creators update. I just finished the Fall Creators update, and I'm seeing a little more improvement, especially since the streaming test, which I know is CPU usage. But as of right now, I don't know if it's a placebo but I don't think, me, I just don't think I'm looking at a better version. I could be. I could be just complaining about nothing as well. So, skip that part. What we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and convert our controls for Xbox One controls. So, I've already did it for PS4 controls. So, what I did is I've already reversed them. And as you can see, we're back to the regular Wii U controls and components. So what we're going to do is, no, I'm not going to save. I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. And cut this off because we don't need this. So what we need to do is go into your folder, of course. Make sure your folder is open for your CMU, whatever CMU you're using. Push that to the side. You're going to go to one of the links in the description. The original link that I believe it came from was NeoGAF. Now, of course, I don't know how many people care what's happening in NeoGAF right now. I I can't say I give a shit right now, but this is one of the original ones. And of course, it also has mirrors. But I'm also going to make sure to put the media fire up. In fact, I might actually put the media fire up as the first download link. And then the NeoGAF as the secondary one. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit download. Go past some of these about blank bullshit articles. Because no one cares about any of that. And you'll see your file is downloaded. Minimize your internet screen. Or whatever you want to call it. Go into your PC. Go to wherever you put your downloads at. Some people like to put it on their desktop. I do not and take out this file called wild btn gui pull that out make a folder which is just easy to do just right click go to new go to folder and i'm not going to do that because i've already done that once you once you have the folder open it up and as you see, I've already have one, but I haven't started the process yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. Don't worry about it. As soon as you take your, your new zip file over, right click, go to extract here. And yes, I'm just going to extract and replace all because I haven't started anything yet. and it should be extracted you will go into this folder and now you will see this execution file that says wild btn gui what you will do then is you're going to go to the execution file double click and it says Com please consider the patching method you are using when choosing the path so basically what it's going to ask you is where is the place that you want to patch the font and the boot up <clears throat> same as it was for the ps4 controller except this time there's an actual faux mod type uh, a faux mod type menu which is always nice so what you want to do is hit select content folder and what you're going to do is you're going to go to your folders of course it should start at at desktop go into cmu MLC01 user title the first folder which is in title which is already opened which is the 0050000 
then you're going to go to the folder which is inside of it which is the 101 c9500 once you're in there you will want to go to content and since this is going to patch both of these areas at the same time you don't really need to go into content for each one what you're going to do is back out of content and then select the content folder and that's where you're going to go ahead and patch after that press the patch button patching is done you can now exit the application after that X out and exit out of your own folder set your folder to the side you might need it later on and if you want to you can go ahead and check your folders itself and what you're going to do is go to content go to font and you'll see there is a secondary folder right now made today that folder is now your patch folder for it you're going to go to pack which is your boot up and you should see the same thing which is a new boot up pack for today all right now that we have that straightened out let's go ahead and start our cmu a lot of people actually go ahead and close out the folder then reopen it a lot of people like to do that you know to reset it set your the folder in, in the order that certain things are supposed to be in i don't usually but we're going to do that just for uh for this video now what we're going to do now is check and see if everything's running right. So we're going to load up the game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You look at the, look at those percentages. Look at those percentages. And I'm not going to lie. It's freaking weird when my, uh, Nvidia experience, just GeForce experience just pops on. And you're going, what the fuck is it doing? And I remember it's an actual overlay, so... Eh, it is what it is. And you also have to excuse the stuffiness. I'm still kind of sick, but... Work needs to be done. So, we're going to go into continue. And we're going to go into the autosave that I have left. And let's see, I'm going to click on the fence skip. See if we can hurry up this loading because there's always a plus. Always a plus. And we are starting off at 20 fucking four frames per second, which is not normal and was not the same as 1.9. But let's hope that 1.11 fixes that. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in, take a look, and you can see it right there. Now you have your basic controls. Let's go ahead and full screen this. You now have your basic controls set up to the same way the xbox one or xbox controllers are set up including your right bumpers your right triggers left triggers your menu button which is now your seek a slate and the scroll button i guess this is the tab button or whatnot i'm not sure maybe it's your menu button uh, for your your pause menu of course and of course you have your letters which are switched around because if i believe i checked the uh, uh, where's my wii u controller check my wii u controller and if you can get a screenshot of an actual xbox controller these are usually switched around but that's fine i i really don't mind that because i don't actually use this controller so what you want to do is enjoy save enjoy do whatever you want with this 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it back because I do not want this control scheme <laughs> for my for my uh, my Breath of the Wild. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in, go to the folder, go to the execute file, say yes, go into the pathings again which is the same, which is CMU, all the way down to MLC, user, title, content, okay. Backup files, backup files were found, restore them. Choose no if you intend to apply the patch to a new title update. So what you want to do is go with backup files, choose yes to restore them. Backup files restored, enable patch features. Otherwise you may want to exit it with vanilla. So you go ahead and click no, you don't want to enable any features. You will go ahead and back out. Open your CMU. Sorry for that. I really hate that sound. Uh, load up your game. Oh yeah, that's sweet, sweet compiling shaders. All right, and then after that, continue. I'm going to go ahead and put on this fence skip hack. You know, to hurry up and load this up as fast as possible, because why not? As fast as possible, because why not? Holy shit, this is slow. All right. And again, jumping in with 21 frames per second. Gotta love this new SimU update. So we're gonna go ahead and full screen this. And there you go. Now that everything has been reset, your backup f files have been placed in, you can see that your regular buttons are back to normal. And I hope this helps a lot of people who have Xbox controllers who want to basically use your own Xbox or Xbox One controller. Again, everything that you'll, you would go and see, go do or talk to, people might end up, or sorry, the prompts will end up showing the right prompts you want, same as the PS4 controller. Anyway, that is it for my video. I'll be climbing the wall to find out what the new CMU update is and if it's worth actually getting or if it's a pass. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and take care.